lovely i'm lisa and welcome to my channel lovely channel today i am sharing with you how to do a diy dip powder manicure at home and i am using the dip well easy acrylic dip system to do this this is a dip powder nail starter kit and it comes with everything you need and i was very impressed with this kit it's really cool because you can customize it so that you can choose which color powders you want to receive with your kit but if you're looking for an inexpensive way to get salon quality nails at home, this is it. So be sure to keep watching. So this is the color I already had on my nails. It's this kind of orangey sparkly color. NA14 is the powder nail color if you want to purchase it. I love this color and I was really impressed with how long these nails stayed on. I had already had them on for three weeks here. So I will be removing those and redoing my nails for this tutorial. But I wanted to show you everything that comes in the Dip Well Starter Kit. You get a nail buffer, a nail file, um, a little wooden nail cuticle pusher. Um, you also get all the instructions. That's what's in this little pamphlet here. It tells you exactly um, how to do your nails. And then it comes with all the liquids you need, the bond, base, activator, sealer, and a brush softener. And then for the powders, you choose which color powders you want in your kit. So it's customizable. They have pretty much any color you could want. And then you'll also get the base and finish powder, which you need to completely do your nails. So the first thing you're going to do is push back your cuticles. And I'm using the Dip Well Jelly Pusher to do this. This does not come with a kit. It's a separate item that you can buy, but I was very impressed with this product because honestly, I was a little bit nervous to press back and cut my cuticles. I don't normally do this on my own. Um, but this tool made it very easy. So I just use the little pusher part to push back my cuticles and then the little cutter part um, You just use it to gently go along your cuticles to gently cut off any excess um, Any of like the dead part of your cuticles and it was very very easy You may be wondering if this step is necessary, but I do recommend it. It is just gonna help with your whole uh, manicure look is just going to make it look a lot more professional if you do take your time and work on your cuticles and it'll also make the application of the dip powder a lot easier with your cuticles pressed back if you are enjoying this tutorial so far and you're excited to learn how to do dip powder nails please give this video a thumbs up and please consider sharing it with somebody. There is a share button below where you can easily share it on social media or message it to a friend or a family member. Um, that just helps get this video out there and really supports my channel. So thank you. So now that my cuticles are pressed back and cleaned up, we are now going to shape our nails. So I'm just taking a nail file. If you need to cut your nails, you can do that. But I'm just going to shape my nails to whatever desired shape. I'm just kind of doing a rounded shape on my nails for this look, but you can do whatever shape you prefer. So if you're new here, I wanted to take a moment to introduce you to myself and my channel. Hi, my name's Lisa. And again, this channel is called Lovely Channel. Uh, my whole heart for this channel is to encourage you and motivate you through practical and faithful content. We do videos on here ranging from dirty dishes to discipling and everything in between, including videos like this. We're doing a tutorial here. So um, if you're interested in any of that, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And then I'm going to take the nail buffer and buff the surface of my nails. You want your nails to have some grit on them. Um, this is really just going to give a good foundation for the dip powder to stay on your nails and to last long. So this is a very important step. So now that my nails are buffed and filed and shaped how I want, um, I'm going to wash my hands to get off any of that extra powder that might be on my nails from buffing them and then i'm going to apply a thin coat of the bond liquid to all my nails this step just kind of dehydrates your nails and removes any excess oil that way when we go to apply that dip powder everything stays on nicely 
So before we apply the dip powder, I also wanted to share with you, you're gonna need some sort of powder brush to brush off the excess powder. That is one thing that the kit does not come with. I got this little kabuki powder brush at TJ Maxx for a few dollars. Then I'm going to get ready my dip powder, have it uncovered, and then I'm gonna pull out my base and I'm gonna apply a thin coat of the base liquid, dip my nail into the powder, and as you can see, I kind of shake the powder around as I dip in my nail, tap off the excess powder, and then I'm gonna gently use my brush to brush off the excess powder. So this is how I recommend it. Um, I know some people, I was watching tutorials, some people coat all their nails with the base and then dip each nail after that. I prefer to go one nail at a time. I apply the base to one nail, then dip it, shake off the excess, and then I just go nail by nail doing that. I feel like I'm able to um, focus more and not feel as rushed. So this is how I recommend doing it, just going one nail at a time, especially if you're a beginner like me. You wanna make sure when you're doing this step, when you're applying the base, that you do not get the base on your cuticles. Anywhere that you apply this base liquid, the powder is going to stick to. So it's very important that you're careful when you're applying that base and you're only getting it on your nail surface. you are worried about getting close to your cuticles as you can see here I actually purposely stayed away from my cuticles and on this second coat that we're gonna do now you're gonna take that base coat do a second coat and then dip your nails again tap off the excess this is where I got closer to my cuticles just so I could really see and have control of where that powder is going So now at this point, we should have two coats of the base and the dip powder nails on all our nails. You can again repeat this even more if you're just wanting more coverage on your nails. You can do this as many times as you want. Just remember as many times as you do it, the thicker your nails are going to be. So that is up to you. I've both times I've done this, I have only done two coats and that seems to work really well for me. Next, I'm going to take the base and finish powder, have that out, and I am going to again use the base liquid on my nail, completely coat my nail, but remember to only get your nail, do not try to get the sides of your skin or on your cuticle because anywhere the base goes, the powder is going to stick to. And then you're gonna stick it, just like the same we did with our color powder, you're gonna stick it into the base and finish powder and tap off and then brush off the excess. And then again, I'm just going one nail at a time doing this and you're going to repeat this on every single nail and then we're going to wait about five minutes after we've done every single nail for it to dry and then after it's been five minutes we are going to do a second coat of that base and finish powder so we are applying a coat of base to each fingernail dipping it in the base finish powder tapping off the excess just doing the same exact thing we did And then once I've coated every single nail with more of that base liquid and dipped it in the base and finished powder, this is what it looks like. And we're gonna wait five minutes for our nails to dry and then come back. So it's been five minutes. Now we're going to take our activator liquid and then we're going to apply a coat of activator. And this is gonna harden the powder and the liquid that is already on your nails and really help that to thicken and harden together so that these nails are gonna last. So you're gonna apply that to each nail and after you've done that, you're gonna wait three to five minutes for that to harden completely. And now about three to five minutes have passed. So we are going to take our nail buffer and we are going to buff our nails and this is where you can choose how thick your nails want to be if they seem really really thick you can go ahead and buff those down more so that they're not as thick 
and you're also going to take your nail file if you want to shape your nails again maybe the powder like went on a little unevenly or anything this is where you can fix that with your nail buffer and your nail file to shape and buff your nails so after you get your nails to the desired thickness and the desired shape that you want um, I'm going to wash my nails because you want to get off any of that lint that is left on your nails, any of that powder. Um, and once they are completely washed and dried, we are going to apply another coat of that activator liquid. By the way, if you want to try out Dipwell for yourself, I'll have a link in the description and I also have a coupon code for you so you can save some money. Um, that way you can do your salon quality nails at home at an affordable price. And again, allow three to five minutes for it to dry. So now that our activator is dry, the final step is to apply the sealer. It's like our top coat. So um, the trick to this to, is to apply it in quick, thin strokes. So you wanna go fast with it because it is sticky. It's almost like a nail glue kind of top coat. So um, you wanna do it very quickly and allow three minutes to dry and then apply a second coat of this to really seal your nails and then again, allow three minutes for your nails to dry completely, and then you are good. Your nails should be completely hardened, and you can go about your day. Um, I love the way they looked. They just come out so shiny, and this color is really shimmery and sparkly, as you can see here in the sunlight. I think it's gorgeous, and these nails can last anywhere from three to five weeks, which I think is such a great deal. You can get so many uses out of just one kit, and you get several colors that you can choose, so I will have this linked in the description and make sure to take advantage of the coupon code I have below as well. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you did enjoy it, I do have a DIY pedicure at home video so check that out too if you want to pamper yourself and give yourself a pedicure at home for very inexpensive. But I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Remember to do everything in love because you are lovely. Bye!